Coffee might just be the most contradictory thing you can drink on a zero-carb carnivore diet. Not only does it embody what an inflammatory plant food is, it's also saying, wait, if the zero-carb diet is the ideal diet, why do we need energy from coffee or caffeine? So I guess first we should talk about how coffee is made. It is the seed of the coffee cherry, and anyone with a background in inflammatory plant foods understands that seeds tend to be the highest in anti-nutrients because that seed wants to survive the digestive tract, be implanted in the fecal matter, and grow into a tree. That's what nature intended it to do. Now, what you're pretty much doing, you know, we take this coffee bean, we ferment it for a couple months, we increase the histamine content, we dry it out, then we ship it around the world and roast it, removing any, I guess, potential beneficial effects that might be in a raw product. And then we pour hot water over it, essentially, extracting any negative anti-nutrients in that water from the coffee bean. Now, you're taking a cup of this plant food that's very high in phytic acid, oxalates, histamines, drinking it, and it's wreaking havoc on your digestive system. And I think anyone who drinks coffee would agree to this, how quickly it goes through them, how their stomach feels. It's a super inflammatory plant food. There's no two ways about it. And the goal of the zero carb carnivore diet being to remove inflammatory plant foods, this is one of the most contradictory things you can do for your gut health. And then moving on to the energy thing. You know, if why would we need to drink coffee if this is the ideal diet? And that can be answered in the context of, listen, I understand that there are various other aspects to health and energy levels such as sun exposure for vitamin D, sleep, exercise, but regardless of those other factors, I've always noticed that I've had optimal energy levels on my version of this diet and if you're one of those people who wakes up in the morning drinks a cup of coffee with their bacon and eggs from the store has a grain fed ribeye for lunch and then another one for dinner I think you really need to analyze the importance of nutrient density and kind of rethink the way you're going about this diet if you need to drink one cup or even several cups of coffee a day and definitely something to be said about the volume of food you're eating the quality how it's being digested in your digestive system and various other factors to consider in regards to your diet. But to just sum up those two points, you know, don't consume a super inflammatory plant food and increase the nutrient density of your diet. And you know, get some sun, get some exercise. That's what's going to give you consistent energy levels and make you feel better. And you know, we could argue all day about how certain indigenous groups might have prepared this, but the way we prepare it today certainly isn't one of them. And then we could argue, well, is there a healthy version of coffee? Is it okay to consume coffee in the context of a healthy, high vitamin, zero carb diet? Possibly, but you know, initially, if you're starting this diet and adapting to this diet, you need to remove everything besides pretty much water and some of the highest quality meat you can. And ideally, even removing salt and uh, consuming only like lighter cooked versions of these foods. All of these various factors will play into the end outcome of this diet and it could literally be something as small as drinking coffee being the that one detrimental factor it could be a supplement you're taking you literally have to start at baseline for this diet and then you know down the line you can explore various pros and cons for certain foods how it affects you personally whether or not you can incorporate them but if you're just trying to keep as many foods in your diet as possible while starting this and it's not working for you you know, I don't know what to tell you. I just don't see how someone could justify drinking coffee from really any perspective. And uh, I mean, maybe from an enjoyment point of view, if you like certain espresso or various preparations just for taste, I could see that. But, you know, to drink it on a daily basis and justify its consumption is something that's you know, very difficult for me to say.